Hey guys, welcome back to Doug's uh, Model Garages videos, and um, me and uh, Ashley went to the, uh, was it Hartville uh, Flea Market uh, out there in uh, Medina Antique Mall uh, area, and just want to show you some of the stuff that we, uh, that I found in some other st uh, hidden stashes that I, uh, I found it along the way also. So I will start with the first one now. Found the uh, Ravel 56 oh. Ravel 56 Chevrolet um, 2 in 1 custom. Found that one. Found me another uh, Nissan GTR uh, 33 R33. So, found one of those. And at the antique mall, I found one of these. This is a complete kit. It was originally marked down, marked for 25. It was uh, marked down to 15. Complete kit, which I was amazed. And it's a Ertel diecast kit. 118 scale, which is kind of unusual because in my stash of diecast cars, I have a Maisto convertible version of this. But uh, I might do a build up on this one on my channel for uh, to show it off and see what everybody thinks of that idea. And also found this kit. I love that nose and the uh, hood on, trunk on it, because the uh, um, I always want to do a Beetle that looks like a forty Ford, but never found a kit of it. But now since this one has extra parts, plus uh, since um, uh, Ollie's has been having, sorry, Bubba, been having this kit out I can actually put the two together and make another one with the two part bots of parts I have and I can do a unboxing on this one which uh, I know everybody will probably like seeing it has the original decals and instructions with it along original with a lot of the unusual to the kit only style parts And uh, as I was looking for this one, at uh, when I came in Ollie's to look for this one, to get this one, I happened to see this one sitting right next to it in the same area, so I figured they both have to come home with me. So, and you know us modelers, if we see one thing, we gotta get the next thing sitting next to it, that if we like it, that's cool. So... And this is a... Uh, my final eBay purchase. There's a reason why, because of that, uh, why I'm stopping buying stuff on eBay. I think it's cost me a little too much money. Plus, most of the stuff I find on eBay, other online hobby shops and stuff like that are selling the same kits. Probably for lesser money and more fair, fair prices. And uh, I'd rather give the small hobby shops and uh, online hobby shops the business rather than eBay being a massive uh, overtaking company that charges fees to clients and um, people selling stuff so I'd rather go directly to the source instead of going to the middleman and uh, I hope you enjoy all that and uh, I will be doing a video of my many Many projects I started that didn't get to them yet. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good day. Alright, bye. 